almost 160. I think the record is 2 meter, 2 meter 40. So they're getting there. This house, uh, it's, it's entering its prime display time. It's going very well, we're really pleased with it. So this is uh, mainly just me um, uh, maintaining it. It's a really nice house to work on your own as well. It's, it's, I found it quite peaceful. So with no visitors, I'm still um, cleaning it because if you leave the pond with, they would cover up the whole pond in no time. So you have to keep it under control. And uh, I still want the plant to look their best. So right now I'm doing a bit of uh, weeding. I just pick them up with the net. So here we've got the Victoria Cruziana. I'm still removing the flower buds because I still want it to focus on growing its large leaves. It's starting to get to a nice size now. And I will let it uh, flower in late uh, July. Um, and then that's when we will try to pollinate it to get um, some seeds for next year. The one here at the front, which got really long petiole and the leaf is really far from, from the plant, is a Nymphaea uh, kimberleyensis. It's a species from, um, from Australia, which was discovered two or three years ago, but it's a really stunning large water lily. They all have a really um, nice sweet scent, but when I'm looking after the pond, I always get a nice sniff. Every year I'm still amazed how quick it grows and takes over the whole house. So it's a bit sad that uh, we can't show this to people, but we're trying to see of, think of ways that it can be visible. So maybe we'll do some clever pruning so there's more being visible from the outside. But uh, also it's a good opportunity because we will reuse this design and it's good to try things and, and see whether they work or not.